my name is Kristen and welcome to my channel. Welcome to this video. So today I'm going to be talking about Birkenstocks, which are these lovely shoes which has been requested and I'm very excited to film this. I've actually been wanting to do it for a while and now that I've worn mine in quite a bit, I decided I'd talk about them with you guys. So let's just dive into this. I don't really have these split up into pros and cons. It's just more so things that either I did or like things that, like my opinions and stuff. So this is what it is. So my first thing, I don't know. My whatever the first thing is, is I recommend if you are not wanting to just go for it because Brig sucks are expensive shoes. Um, if you want to, you know, try them out a little bit. They have these kind of knockoffs at Target, which are like $20, $22, which are the same style as the Birkenstocks. They're not exactly the same, you know, the cushioning, the footbed is different. But I will link them down below because I actually had those for about a year before I got Birkenstocks. And I definitely recommend doing that so you can get used to like the two straps. Or they do have like the, the one with the toe. I don't know what those are called, but they have a couple of styles that are like Birkenstocks, which I recommend if you don't want to pay the big bucks just right away. Then I recommend when you are getting Birkenstocks to try them on in store. I know they sell them at Dillard's, Nordstrom, I don't really know any other places, but even if you aren't looking into buying that day, I recommend trying them on. I went to Dillard's and it gives you an idea for size because their sizing is different. You know, it's not like eight, nine, like American sizing or American sizing, American. It's uh, European, I'm pretty sure. And so um, I would recommend trying on because I know if I didn't try them on in store, I probably would have gotten it wrong online. And even if they don't have your size and the style that you want in store or something like that, you can order it through the store and you get free shipping which is what I did, so save those dollars and try them on in store. <laughs> okay, so now into the actual shoes. So these are the styles that I have. I've had these for about two months now. I got them at the end of April and I've definitely done some wearing in them. And I have the soft footbed, which I 10 out of 10 recommend. I think these, like the soft footbed is new. I don't think they come in every style yet, but it's totally worth it. I don't think it's like a dollar difference or anything because the um, typical, I believe these are the Arizona style or just Birkenstocks in general. They're very comfortable after you wear them for a while. So then they aren't, so it takes a while for you to get comfortable with them because it's got to mold to your feet. Soft foot bed, it did take maybe a week or two for me to get comfortable with them. Um, but it's, it, I totally recommend soft foot bed because I feel like it would take longer if you get adjusted to them and they already start off as pretty comfortable. And um, so if you like comfy, definitely get soft foot bed. So as for how much I've worn mine, I have worn my Burks quite a bit. Like I said, I've had them for about two months now and I wear them pretty much every day. Um, I wore them at school, which I did some walking, but you know, also a lot of sitting. They were comfortable then. I went to New York for a week. I only wore my Birkenstocks for one day of the actual New York trip. I wore them on the plane and through the airport, which were fine. They were comfortable, of course, but the only other shoes I brought with me to New York were Converse. I can tell you Birkenstocks are definitely more comfortable than Converse. Um, I didn't feel like my feet really hurt at all throughout the day, so that was definitely a benefit. So they are very comfy. Um, I also wore them to my college or my university orientation, and we also did a lot of walking around campus, even though it's not a very big campus, but we did a lot of walking. I think I walked like four miles both days, and like my feet never bothered me. Um, except for when like the mosquitoes went after them. But you know, it's not the shoe's fault. So uh, yeah, definitely comfortable. I've worn them every day for about two months. So they're definitely, and they're holding up. I mean, like I said, it's only been two months, but I'm pretty sure for everyone that I've heard that's had them for a while, like these babies hold up like a long time, so. They got a long lifespan, they might be expensive, but I feel like they are a very good investment in the long run. 
The only downside I've really seen to Birkenstocks is they are made with real leather, um, which don't really know how I feel about that, but you know, they have a really long lifespan and I felt like they were just better for the long run and stuff like that. Like I said, I mean, it's already kind of molded to my feet. You can see my toe prints. Anyways, but you can't get these wet. I'm sure if it's sprinkling, it's fine, but I wore these one in the mornings in New York. I went back and changed them because it was pouring. And when they get wet, they kind of leave, at least the black ones, which are the ones I have, like faint black stripes where these are across your feet, which they come off in like a day. It's not a big deal, but you have to avoid getting these wet, which sucks because it's been raining a lot in Houston. But that is the only downside I've seen to having these shoes. And it's just raining right now. I'm sure we'll get back into like drought season or something. So overall, those are like all the tips, tricks, opinions that I have. Um, I overall really enjoy these Birkenstocks. I have a feeling they are gonna last me a long time. I've already done a lot of walking in them. Um, and like I said, they hold up better than Converse, but Converse aren't that supportive in the first place. So I totally recommend these. Um, obviously, like I said, they are pretty expensive firsthand, but I feel like they're a great investment. You know, if you're just looking for some good shoes that you won't have to replace in, you know, another year or two years or so. Um, and I have a feeling I'm, I, I know, I know I'm going to be wearing these a lot, like on campus and just other times in general. I can't wait to get the better feet mold in here. You can already see my toes are here. Um, but yeah, no, if you're looking into Brickett Socks, I mean... You probably are if you're watching this video, but also, you know, do some like other research, look at some other reviews and stuff like that and try on in store because then you can find the style that you want, whether it's like the two straps, the th I think there's a three strap, the one around the toe. There's so many different styles. Just try them on in store, see which one fits for you and it'll be great. So that is all for this video. I hope this helped you in your Birkenstock journey and um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.